there guys, my name is Curtis Chad Dogs to Bomb, but built for Theme Park News, and this is another update uh, from the Plopsa fan presentation uh, that Plopsa Updates went to, sent me loads of pictures from the presentation on some new investments, some new details on some investments, and one of the parks mentioned is Plopsa Coo. Now in the past we talked about Plopsa Hand Pan on their concepts for their Bomber Kids area and the extra spinning coaster details. Uh, we've got some other things coming up as well from Holiday Park. We've also got some stuff coming in uh, from Marjolan Cow Natty. Uh, we've got some stuff from a new water park for the Plopsa group, um, which is pretty cool. But this is going to be focused on Plopsa Coo. Now, this is on their 2020 traction and also details on what they're planning for the 2024 season. A long way away. So let's get straight into this then. So on your screen right now, Panabidozi, that there on your screens is the official concept uh, for a brand new, what looks like a fairy tale themed Wind Stars attraction by Zabberla. And now, if you don't know what Wind Stars is, basically it's like a, a tricycle in the sky kind of swinging flat ride, if, I guess. Uh, like a kite flying kind of flat ride. Um, you know, they have done it with VR in the past, and I feel like. Uh, this attraction is a brilliant looking flat ride. I think it's a good family attraction, good for all ages. Uh, and that is exactly what we are looking at here with Plopsa Coo. So, basically, we are looking here at uh, basically this brand new sort of um, Windstars attraction with a fairy tale theme. Now, a fairy tale theme is an interesting one just because of the fact that. Um, you know, this is um, a good, strong family attraction, and I think fairy tale theme is an interesting thing to go for. I feel like the fairy tale theme is uh, a bit of a risky move, not gonna lie, uh, a risky move for the park, but uh, I feel like they're gonna pull it off. I think that they've got the theming items, they've got the, the level of detail to pull off a fairy tale theme, especially for a family ride. Um, I mean, you're seeing the concept on your screen right now from the presentation. That was actually an official photo from Popsa Updates. Thank you very much to him on Instagram uh, from the presentation itself. So we were getting live updates straight from the presentation for this. And it's going to take me a good few days to get these. You know, with obviously with Christmas Day coming up in a few days' time, it's going to be more of a family time. So I would expect a pre-recorded video in the afternoon, but only one video that would be pre-recorded like a couple of days before. So... I would expect nothing really new on Christmas Day, just for the fact it's a family time. Um, but I think before and after Christmas Day, I'm going to try and get um, these updates on these different projects released at the Pops presentation uh, as soon as possible. Like I said, with Holiday Park, uh, Marjolan Cow Natty, they've got some stuff revealed for their 2020 and 2021 attractions. Holiday Park got some stuff revealed as well. The new Pops of Water Park. I may report on that. I'm not usually a water park person, but I have reported on Rulantica at Europa Park in the past. So I may look at doing that. Then you've got to look. So overall then with the Windstars attraction, I ain't got a problem with it. Looks absolutely fantastic. The second thing, or I should say the second of two new things, which has been revealed for 2024, on your screen now, this is the uh, first look at what they're going to be doing for 2024. Now, we spoke in an earlier video, months ago now, uh, that Pops of Coup were, part, were thinking of doing a multi-million pound or multi-million euro investment over the next few years, uh, like an investment plan. So 2024 will be bringing you a brand new indoor area and a brand new, wait for it, hotel. Yes, you can already see in that little image there. Uh, that they are planning an indoor area and a hotel with restaurant, both for 2024. We're not sure at this point whether the uh, indoor area is included in the hotel. However, we do know it's both going to be coming in 2024. So, again, not much details on that. Um, so, apart from that, that's pretty much all that was revealed from Popsicle at the presentation. So, we've got a fairy tale, enchanted themed Wind Stars attraction opening at the park in 2020. And then you've also got a new hotel opening at the park in 2024. So, uh, as well as an indoor area. Whether it's included in the hotel or not, we do not know at this point. Now, overall, with these investments, I am really excited. Not going to lie, really, really excited. I think Pops are onto a great job here. Um, I think that Pops of Coup really are going for it in terms of long-term investments. I think that a Windstars is a good long-term family attraction, especially with it being a new model um, from scratch. Uh, with the hotel, with restaurant, and of course the 
uh, sort of indoor area as well, in or out of the hotel, we don't know at this point. Again, both for 2024, so we'd expect construction to start around about 2021, 2022, not too soon, not too late after that, so should be interesting to follow the updates on that. But thank you very much for watching this small theme park news update on Plops Coup on their brand new investments announced at this presentation. Obviously, we've got videos coming up from Holiday Park, Marjolaine County Natty. Uh, I may decide to do a video on the Aqua Park here, I'm not too sure. But we've got some put more stuff coming from this Plops presentation. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Charles, Kill on the Coast Live, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.